Trophic levels are an essential concept in ecology, representing the different positions organisms occupy within a food chain. The idea of trophic levels helps us understand the flow of energy and nutrients through ecosystems, as well as the interactions among various species. A food chain is a linear sequence of organisms through which nutrients and energy pass as one organism eats another. Each step in this sequence is known as a trophic level, and these levels are organized based on the organism's roles in the flow of energy, starting with the producers and moving up to various levels of consumers. At the base of any food chain is trophic level 1, which consists of producers. Producers are typically plants, algae, and certain bacteria that can synthesize their own food through the process of photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Using sunlight or chemical energy, these organisms convert carbon dioxide, water, and inorganic nutrients into organic matter, such as glucose, which serves as food for themselves and for other organisms. Producers are crucial because they form the foundation of the food chain, supplying the energy that drives all other trophic levels. Trophic level 2 is composed of primary consumers, which are herbivores that feed directly on the producers. These organisms include animals like rabbits, deer, caterpillars, and many types of insects. By consuming plants or algae, primary consumers obtain the energy stored in the organic compounds created by producers. However, the energy transfer from one trophic level to the next is not completely efficient. Typically, only about 10% of the energy is passed on, while the rest is lost as heat or through metabolic processes. This inefficiency in energy transfer limits the number of trophic levels in a food chain. Above the primary consumers are secondary consumers, occupying trophic level 3. These are typically carnivores or omnivores that eat primary consumers. Secondary consumers include animals like snakes, foxes, and certain birds, which rely on a diet of herbivores. The role of secondary consumers is vital in controlling the population of primary consumers, thus maintaining the balance within an ecosystem. By feeding on primary consumers, they ensure that the producers are not overexploited, which could lead to a collapse in the food chain. Trophic level 4 contains the tertiary consumers, which are predators at the top of the food chain. These organisms, such as lions, eagles, and sharks, feed on secondary consumers and sometimes on other tertiary consumers. They are often considered apex predators because they have few or no natural enemies. Tertiary consumers play a crucial role in maintaining the structure and health of their ecosystems by regulating the populations of other consumers, preventing any single species from dominating the environment. Decomposers, such as bacteria, fungi, and detritivores, play a unique and indispensable role in the food chain. Although not typically assigned a specific trophic level, they are essential for recycling nutrients. Decomposers break down the remains of dead organisms and waste products, returning nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and carbon back into the soil, water, and atmosphere. This decomposition process ensures that nutrients are available to producers for synthesizing new organic matter, thus sustaining the entire food chain. Without decomposers, dead organic material would accumulate, nutrients would become locked in unusable forms, and ecosystems would cease to function effectively. In summary, the division of food chains into trophic levels helps to clarify the roles different organisms play in ecosystems, from energy production at the base to nutrient recycling at the end. This hierarchical structure not only illustrates the flow of energy but also highlights the interdependence of organisms within an ecosystem. Each trophic level is connected to others, creating a complex web of interactions that sustain life. The efficiency of energy transfer and the role of decomposers are key factors in maintaining the balance and productivity of these intricate ecological systems.